Okay guys, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. We got a Nespresso Virtuo next. Our Nespresso machine broke, so it was time to get a new one. So we got this on Costco and it was super cheap. It was $169 before taxes. Um, and I believe the machine itself costs $169, depending on the model and the color you get. There are a whole bunch of different colors, but we just went the cheaper route. This one comes with the actual machine, the milk frother, as well as a whole bunch of different pods. It also comes with two recycling bags, which are free from Nespresso. If you go to the Nespresso boutique, they'll give you them for free. And then it also comes with a descaling kit, and $35 off our first order from Nespresso.com. Although now that I'm reading this, it might not even work because I've already ordered from Nespresso.com, so it might negate this $35 off my first order. But it's really nice that this machine adapts to all the different sizes. So there's a whole bunch of different capsules. Um, there's the espresso, the double espresso, then there are like the regular ones. Then they just came out with this one called Carafe, or no, Carafe. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that one's um, a pour over and the amount of liquid that comes out of that is a lot bigger. So it's nice that this one accepts, I believe, all capsules. So I'm just gonna unbox this. Unfortunately, this was the only color that Costco had. Um, so that's the only downside, but for the price, it just, you know, I couldn't pass it up. And also we just don't have really a theme in terms of interior decoration over here. It's not our house, we're renting it. So I wasn't big on getting a certain color. Okay. So this one is the Mexico, Stormio, and Colombia. So here they are. And then here we have two of the recycling bags. Again, Nespresso gives these to you for free. So I guess it's nice that I don't have to go to the boutique. Here is the descaling kit right here. And I believe you use this to clean it. I know uh, we've been bad people and have not once descaled our old Nespresso machine. So I don't know if that contributed to the Nespresso machine breaking down, but we'll be sure to use this this time. This is the actual box that contains the Virtuo Next machine. So I think there might be 12 more pods in here, but let's open it up and we can see together. If only I know how to open this box. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna rip it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Holy. Okay. It comes with a booklet. It tells you, it gives you instructions on how to descale it, the first steps, what you need to do. Um, the warranty, safety information is all in this booklet. There's actually three. Yes, this one's a safety first. This is one of three in the corner. I don't know where two of, oh, here's two of three. Here, right here in this corner. I'm assuming this is a three of three, the warranty information. What is this box? It's a box within a box. It says 11 capsules of roast and ground coffee and one capsule of decaffeinated roast and ground coffee. We don't like decaffeinated in this house. We need our caffeine, but that's okay. Here they are. Ta-da! Whoops. So that's nice that you get to try a variety of stuff. It's starting to look like a hot mess over here. I'm gonna have to have Edwin help me put this together because not that handy. So here is the Arochino 3. We have the older, I think it might even be the oldest model. It looks just like that. This is what it looks like in real life. There you go. It's nice and sleek and here's where you put it on um, to get it started. Here is the machine, ta -da! This one's a dark gray color. It looks like it's missing something. All right, 
I'm gonna have to learn how to assemble all this. This one definitely looks sleeker and cleaner for sure. The other one looks a little bit bigger, but honestly, it's not that big to begin with. So, um, yeah, this is it. Nespresso Virtuo machine. Um, this is a water tank here, and then this is where the capsules fall out. Um, this is obviously where you put the pods in. But this is what was not working. It's supposed to click and the lines are supposed to align. So this one right here with that, but it, it does not want to go. So it's broken, it won't work. Here is our original Aerochino. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, like I said, it's a little bit bulkier. It's a chrome metallic color, so it gets dirty easily. But this one compared to that one, I'd say that this is just a lot more sleeker, nice. Um, and I'm sure this would look nice once I clean it off. But now we have two. I think I'm going to put this one away and put this one to use because it just looks a lot nicer and cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I believe it's this. Oh, there we go. It's lighting up. I did put a bow under this so that it can catch all the water, but I'm going to go ahead and Click this three times so that it can start the cleaning process. It is starting to blink this orangey yellow color. I hear the water being pulled down. So there you go. put a new bowl underneath but it didn't take too long probably about six or so minutes I'm gonna wipe this off because the water did splatter all over okay so I think we're ready this is the attachment to hold your cup depending on what you're making so if you're making an espresso you definitely want to put it on the closest one to the nozzle a little espresso cup on there just like that. And then if you were doing something like the 7.77 fluid ounces, so this one is the Bianco Forte. <gasps> oh, that scared me. I thought something was going on. <laughs> um, if you're doing one of these, you'd probably put this on the second one. There you go, just like that. And then you'd put a cup right in here and it would hold it. And then if you are making, I believe this is the um, carafe one, you'd leave it on this bottom one and then put in a taller cup. I don't have one right now, but you put it in there. Just like that, super simple. We're gonna try our new espresso machine out along with the Aerochino. I know this is a beer cup, but uh, this is the only thing that we have that you can see through. So this will have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a pod. Right now I'm gonna do the Stormio right in here I'm gonna go ahead and click down oh there we go as soon as you hit this over this thing tightens and so it should be this even space all around I'm gonna go ahead I think it's ready for me to press here we go
the final product with some macarons. Is it macaroons? I don't know. That's the end of my unboxing. We'll see you at the next one. Bye.